Thanks Radio TT and yesterday morning at about this time we had a bit of grey cloud around this morning. I think I'm going to get burnt again. Chrissy De Haven, good morning. Good morning, Chris. It's beautiful out there yeah, it's again, cracking. isn't it? A little bit couth if you're just out of the sun. That's cold in Manx if you want couth. them to figure that out. She's a bit couth on the legs. The top bit's quite warm because I've got the sun there now, but the the legs are a bit cold. because I, I know I've got the legs out today. Well, I had them out yesterday, you see, but I was in, incognito yesterday. Nobody would have recognised me. What, like a, I can't tell you. No, 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 oh, no, no. I can't to. tell you because then I'd have to find a little abandoned mind at Snape Fell and you'd never be seen again. Oh, God, that's a bit scary. Um, <laughs> on a lighter <laughs> note, <laughs> no, there, there are police listening. Be careful. On a lighter note, did mm. you watch the Red Arrows? I did watch the Red Arrows. They went, and that was it. Good. That was a brilliant impression. We Let's don't do need that. them to come again next year. Mm, yeah, you can red, just do that on red the radio. Seven, red seven, red seven, break. <laughs> Chris Williams, I bet you're our producer back there. I bet he watched them. I bet he was uh, probably, I think he actually may, probably made a special journey in from Peel to watch them, to be honest. I think he probably did. Yeah. Did you see the selfie they took? No. No, yeah, he, th- and Chris didn't come in and watch it. <laughs> oh, I missed um, them. Yeah, they sorry, took a selfie sorry. over the Isle of Man. Did they? While one one was upside down over the others, and somehow, while controlling that plane, managed to take a selfie with all of the other red arrows underneath. And thanks to Engineer Ed for showing us that ah, one. But yeah. Good effort. Yeah, they were good last night. And you went to see some comedian chap? Ross Noble. Is that his oh, name? Oh, he's funny. Yeah, oh, okay. I laughed a lot. It was in the VIP tent, actually, and I noticed that the... Um, They've got Reef playing there on Friday. Reef? Yes. As in, put your hands up, put your yeah. hands up for Detroit. We love this. Oh, not, the, the, not the, that not one, that. Oh, no. Okay. But, uh, yeah, the, the, that one. Good. Um, and, they're, yeah, they're playing it on Friday. I think there's still a few tickets left, so if you go to IMT, IOMTT.com, That's it. you can uh, finish off the TT in with, a, with a good old rocking gig. It will be quite good, too. Uh, busy day ahead. Obviously, quickly, we'll speak to John Caldwell and also Andy Reid from the police in a moment. Yeah. Uh, we've got, uh, of course, it is race day. So at 10.45, it's the Monster Energy Super Sport Race 1. Uh, at 12.45, the TT0, SES TT0 race. At 2.10, Bennett's Lightweight TT race. And at 3.55, sidecar qualifying. And at 4.10, Senior TT qualifying. So uh, the roads will be closing from Barul Park at 9.15. Um, and then 9.30 from the bungalow. Then from 10 a.m. around the rest of the course. Okay, good stuff. Uh, John Caldwell, morning, John. Morning, fella, you all right? I'm very, very well, sir. How's the scooting going on, by? Good, loving it. It's freedom. No, no, it's, it's freedom. Twist and go. It's twist and go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. H- how many times, though, have you found yourself reaching to change gear? Yes. Yeah, quite a few times. And, oh, the, other th- oh, and the other thing is, <laughs> putting both feet down when you don't need to do I know, it's really You weird, know, you cut traffic it? lights, and you should put, you habitually put both feet down mm-hmm. and sit there. You know, it's like, I'm thinking... Hang on. This, this is the other right. le- is, is the leg back up. You've got a new vehicle, have you? I've been lent a little scooter. Yeah. Oh. The ju- instead of yeah. getting a car and coming on, it's just bopping around on this yeah. thing and getting it to town. Um, and my mate Mark's lent it, mate. Um, and I'm just I'm it thrilled. Great fun. It's four stroke, isn't it? I've though? even been on the internet looking to see how much they are. Really? Yeah. What, yeah. what make is it? It's a little uh, Vespa. Yeah. Vespa. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, Blimey. Th- we th- are the mods. We are the mods. You want a I, I even had a look around the Ace Cafe thing around there the other day, the leds and stuff like that. I thought, hey, this, gonna is, gonna a, buy this is a, a whole new Parker. subculture to He's me. He's going to start listening to Paul Weller now. I know that would be a. You don't do the dull I'm not that slim, am I? I don't know. Chubby Weller. Chubby. Very good. And Sergeant Andy Reid from the police. Good morning, Andy. Nice to have you back. Again. Thank you. Thanks Where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, I've been on an uh, evening shift, so I've been oh, down on the prom. Um, lovely. Making Deep sure joy. that everybody was safe and uh, enjoying the evening's entertainment. And was it good down there? Good fun? Yeah, it's great. Interesting it's characters? Yes, yeah, really, really good. Good good atmosphere and uh, some good events going on, some good music and uh, good stunt show last night. Okay, that was down the, that was down the the far side yeah, by the sea terminal. Yeah, yeah, down by Hooded Rand, the yeah. stunt show, yeah. and uh, and up by uh, in bushes. They had some good music on stage. Re- really crowded. Good. Both venues. What's uh, been going on, Chris? Come no, I was just going to say he was, was saying to us just before as well. It, all around those places, that actually is a really nice, friendly vibe, and you're not having to deal with any sort of like scuffles, really. So no, no, it, it is a really good, friendly vibe this year. Um, yeah, and that's reflected in uh, our arrest rate, which is good to say. You know, our arrest rate is down this year, uh, generally across the board. So that's really good. It's a it's a really nice crowd of people, and uh, everybody's enjoying themselves and behaving and having a drink, but uh, mm. not get going silly with it. Well, really John's good. not been down there yet, so look <laughs> <out> tonight. <laughs> we that's were going to go down here tonight, but all the things happened, didn't it? So yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah, pop yeah. down. We no. might might pop down tonight, Johnny, if you're not yeah, too busy. Like Should we do that? Yeah, yeah. Should we go and hold tomorrow. hands along the seafront? Yeah, I've got nothing on tomorrow. Yeah, you, 
Tomorrow, tomorrow night. What day is tomorrow? Thursday. 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 Oh, I yeah, we met. I've lost track of the day. I know you kind of yes. do. That, a blur. I can make myself free Thursday. You know. yeah, Good yeah, yeah, if, if, if you want to come, are you going to come for a pint with something beautiful Andy? happening here. It is, isn't it? Is. Bonding, bonding. Yeah, it's the sunshine. It Just is, remember, it? don't do a Tim Glover. Bring your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask you then. What's the main things for spectators to be looking out for today? And we have had a few more instances of spectators, cyclists, all sorts, trying to get on the closed roads. Please don't do it. Yeah, that that, that that's that's the one thing that's up this year and. Uh, and the message needs to keep going out is is please don't go on closed roads uh, you know they're closed for that reason uh, it's safety and we are uh, proactively dealing with it seriously as it should be um, so yeah stay, stay off closed roads uh, adhere to what the marshals are telling you uh, don't get in trouble with the cops hmm. for those who don't know marshals when they sign on here have the role of special constable so they do have powers of a police officer so they, they can do arrest you okay. and then you have as soon as you go on them closed roads you will be you know and, and I've seen a few of the marshals and you know some of them are quite big lads and uh, they will grip you and they will if, if you try going on the road you will be nicked end of story the van, the van will arrive you'll go and see the judge in the morning you'll pay a big fine and if you've been really naughty you'll be booted off the island if you want to come back again you won't just be sensible just enjoy it the sunshine and get the factor 50 on enjoy the racing because we've seen some of the best racing we've seen for years here speaking of the sun shining mm. though uh, people and we were talking about shorts looking at, I keep looking at your knees Chris <laughs> uh, talking about people in shorts there's, there seems to be lots of bods out and about on bikes mm. not wearing the right sort of yeah. gear Andy. yeah there's um, th obviously as you said the sun shines out and uh, a little bit of a dangerous habit that we're starting to see is motorcyclists out in shorts and t-shirts and you no know, gloves no gloves mm. no levers uh, funnily enough they, they wear their uh, motorcycle boots mm. Uh, mm. which are obviously save their toes but won't save their legs and their mm. arms and uh, you know uh, don't risk it. The gravel rash at worst, uh, loss of legs and arms at, mm. at uh, y y you know, really worst case. So don't do not do it. Um, wear your levers. That's what they're there for. And if you want to wear jeans, get some of those ar no, armour jeans Kev you can get now. Yeah, the Kevlar, Kevlar jeans, Kevlar they're fantastic. Jeans, they're, they're really good. They got, they're all proper knee protections. They're Kevlar down the sides, Kevlar on the hips and all that. They are very good. Don't wear yeah. your Levi's or your wherever you've got them from. Other makes of jeans are available Your from Bermuda shorts. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, John, just a quick message from you. We've got about a minute or so to go. And uh, again, I think it's just enjoy the day, isn't it? It is enjoy the day. Um, it's um, another cracking day. The Alaman showing off yet again. Oh, um, and I, I just take on what you said. The, the comments of people are, it's been a great festival so far. Mm. Fantastically enjoyed it. Um, as we know, we've had uh, a couple of tragic things happen. Um, but um, just if I could say thank you on behalf of the uh, the Neen family mm. uh, this morning for all the support that they've had uh, and all that they're having to uh, to organise at this time. Um, we've got a, a, a date and time for Dan's funeral mm -hmm. over here on the island, uh, which is Friday the 15th of June at uh, 2.45 at the crematorium. Um, and I know there's just a, there'll be a few tributes and things like that. Okay. Uh, but quite a low-key affair for Dan. But I know the island will turn out. Son of the island. Mm. Um, and no doubt lots of other people will want to be here as well. So. Absolutely. But, uh, of course. So, so thank you from them uh, for all the support they've had and for everybody who supports what goes on here as well. Okay, Sergeant Andy Reid, thank you very much for coming back Welcome. in this morning. And uh, yes, we'll, we'll be up for that beer on Thursday night. And uh, yes, Reverend Ken and John Caldwell. Uh, Chris, you can come as well. Yes. Can I? Thank yeah, you. Can come as well. This does fall around Max the table. Radio Monitor. Do you not, will Party. you not feel like you've got to behave better if I'm there? No. No, no good. Worse. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> good. no, we you, can you let our hair down. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, hand you back to the studio. Coming up after 8 o'clock this morning, Chrissy, we've got we've got Johnny Barton and yeah. Richard Milky Quell, riding liaison officer, and also a rather good Scottish chap coming on called Keith Amore to have a little chat about what he's doing now at the moment because he's retired from racing. Back after 8